Okay, gather around the tree, children. It's time for a story. It's just me. So you're the only one that received my invite? Yeah, I thought it'd be fun. Well, I was kind of expecting some more kid figures to show up. I mean, it's December. What else are kids going to do? Not be read to by a complete stranger with a cryptic Christmas story? Okay, I see your point. It was my invitations that were the problem. They were pamphlets. I knew they should have been brochures. I only came to get out of the house. So you're saying my reading talents won't be used in vain? Can you just read the story? All right. Well, believe it or not, everything that happens in this story is 100% true and took place about a week ago. For some reason, I'm still having a hard time processing the trauma. What happened? Well, I almost got murdered. Is this about the Christmas party? That I hosted last week? Absolutely. And I even had enough time to publish a book about it. That time I almost got murdered? I just know it's gonna be a bestseller. New York Times? I'll just read you the damn story. Thank you. It was a week before Christmas and all through the kitchen. Everyone was bustling, and Sean was just bitching. Oh, I hope you don't mind that this story is in no way kid-friendly. <laughs> it's funny. Oh wait, that's right. You're six? Um, how long is it until you can drink? Uh, I mean, I, I started drinking when I was... Uh, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, the meal itself was snug in the oven, and the Christmas preparations were found by the dozen. That doesn't really... Rhyme. Oh, give me a break, okay? I wrote this book in under a week. It's a masterpiece, but it's not perfect, okay? Jeez, kids are so demanding these days. I stop interrupting. Thank you very much. <clears throat> the decorations were plentiful, and the aroma was pleasant. Though this Christmas would bring Sean an unwelcome holiday present. After his success in great breakfast baking, he decided to share his pride with everyone involved in the undertaking. He invited characters such as Kyle and the baking rivals too, but one gentleman would be missing, someone whose death came too soon. Mateo the consumptionist had choked on a blueberry, but the unrevealed truth is something far less than Mary. Mateo was actually killed with intent, but the murderer wouldn't reveal himself until the night of the event. The following events are 100% true. Now join me, Sean Johnry, as I retell it to you. Welcome to the Great Christmas Baking Show, where I specialize only in making holiday treats that are breakfast food related. The candied bacon is in the oven and it's smelling delightful. I'm also making some holiday French toast to cinnamon spice it up for our guests. My guests should be arriving any minute, so just sit back and relax as I, Sean Johnry, host not only the greatest Christmas party of all time, but also the program featuring it. That must be the first guest! What's that, dudes? Welcome, guest. I see you didn't get the memo. This is a PJ Jammy Jam party. You're supposed to be in your PJ Jammy Jams. Come on, bro. You know I only sleep in this hoodie. And I didn't doubt that for a second. Come on in. Sick place, my dude. You could totally film a talk show in here. That's exactly what I do for a living. If there's anything I want you to learn from Kyle, is to never become friends with some guy in a van outside a church. What? Stay in school. Anyway, with that guest's arrival already a lock, the next guest would bring with them some banter to rock. Welcome fellow guests, I see you come in proper attire, jammies and all. It's freezing cold out here, did we have to wear PJs? Congratulations, you live in Wisconsin. Oh come on, I have no problem wearing jammies. It's jammy season, get in the spirit. There you go. Now let us in before I freeze my ass off. So yeah, I invited them hoping they wouldn't bring up how the Bake Off ended, but let's just say the emotions were still strong. What do you mean? Powerpuff pancakes would eat your things your for pancakes. breakfast. Literally. Were literally so eat yours basic. for breakfast. Never mind about that. Has anyone heard from Malia? I did send her an invite, didn't I? What are you talking about? I've been here the entire time. Wait, what? You locked me in the pantry. I, so I decided to eat your food. So you were the one eating all my snackies. <laughs> no. Sounds fun, but... What about the murder? Oh yeah, I was getting to that. With an abundance of partygoers, all festive and fun, the full night of terror had only just begun. 
for the beginning of the party had been correctly steered, but when more guests arrived, one of them had just... Oh, you want to talk about basic, do you? A child! My basic... I totally won the... What the... I must have scared him off. <laughs> Brad? Brad, where are you? Where are you, Brad? Seriously, come on, this isn't funny, Brad. What's with the strobe lights? Are things about to get lit up in here? There's there's nothing lit about a kidnapping and, and possible murder. Yeah, Kyle, just let the kid nap. He's had a long day. No? Sean be acting kind of <laughs> sus. Wait, what do you mean? He's acting a little carefree for someone who just witnessed a kidnapping. What's up with that, broski? You call it being carefree. I call it a coping mechanism. Guys, come on. Let's not point fingers. Randy was obviously taken, so we should focus on finding him first. Oh, now who's looking sus? What? Come on, it's obvious you wanted to silence him after what happened in the bake-off. I'd say you had this planned all along. I was sitting here the entire time. Wow, I feel like a detective now. I kind of love this. From now on, you can just call me. A doofus? Kind of sus. Sean Lock Holmes. That just makes you look even more suspicious. Yeah, hella sus, yeah. I have no vendetta at all, okay? Besides, this costume took a lot of time to put together. Fine, whatever boats your float. Okay, this isn't just weird anymore. This is freaky. Kyle, can you hear us? Why would Kyle be taken? I, I can understand the reasoning behind Manny, but Kyle? Wait, why would you justify Manny being taken? That's weird. I don't know, the guy's just like a brother to me, almost. I can't explain why. Say, Katie, you're looking pretty suspicious right now. Wait, why me? Let's see. Because my pancakes are gonna blow yours out of the batter. So I gotta go with Manny. Yeah. Well done, Brosif. I do like this guy. I win by default? No, that's no, not that's fair. fair. No, 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 that- Oh, you want to talk about basic, do you? A child My could have made those. Been... I am not appreciating this framing nonsense you are trying to pull. The jig is up, little Miss Kitchen Corner. Confess to your crimes. I don't know, Sean. Something feels off. Hey, let go of me! Ah! No! Not Malia! It should have been me. They have gone too far this time. Sean, I'm scared. It's okay, we can do this. Just breathe, and just imagine what it would be like not getting kidnapped and murdered. And it probably would happen. Oh wow, Sean, that helps a lot. Oh, sorry, I was talking to myself. You know, it probably isn't safe to stay here anymore. We should move. Bring your butter knife, too. Sean, if I die, leave my search history. Well, sh and then there was one, and I never even got to tell her that she won the Bake Off. They're probably not that important to her, right? Not really. I didn't think so either. Anyway, as Sean stood in place, more frightened than ever, he began to search his house to get the gang back together. Marco? Yeah, I bet you're too scared to take me on in the game of Marco Polo! I am actually scared though. Heart. That's it. You know what I need? Some good old fashioned snackies. Come on, Sean. Let's go clear your head with some food and lock yourself in the pantry like you always do. Yeah, that's the ticket. Where am I? Who took my wallet? Tell Kitty I love her before I die. Ow! You, you, you're making my head hurt. Yeah, and I heard you just fine. Manny, oh my gosh, I am so glad to see you. I never thought I'd ever say that, but uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna call you Brad from now on. Is that okay with you? Is that okay? Not even a little bit. Oh, I wasn't asking you. I was telling you. I'm going to call you Brad from now on. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. My head hurts. And I'm hungry. No way, little Miss Diva. You already ate all my snacks. Oh yeah, Malia? Remind me to smack him later for calling me Little Miss Kitchen Corner. I thought you guys were dead. Katie, I might have, uh, 
I'm gonna prank call a few people on your phone, and I forgot to delete your search history. Oh, that's okay. I was half kidding anyway. It's not like anyone looks up things that are that bad, right? Um, sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Hold the phone. I can't. You have mine. I know I won't let me have one. Ha! I have mine. Mission accomplished. Where the hell is Kyle? Right here. Oh, sh Why are you talking like that? What? You know that I actually talked like that other dope I was portraying earlier, did you? What? It's called a ruse, my dull-witted friend. I knew that this baking show had potential to make me famous, and this Kyle person of yours so so happened to be a long-lost cousin. I gave him a trip to Hawaii, and I gave the judge who was supposed to be on the show a trip to Payne Island. Oh, no you didn't. Ugh, that's just not right. But wait, if Kyle's in Hawaii, then who are you? My name is one that will go down in history once I get rid of all of you. I am Sir Bradford Williamson Ramsey III. The name Sean Johnry doesn't sound so weird now, does it? That name sounds familiar. Wait, are you related to Gordon Ramsay? That's unimportant. Wait, I think I saw you on the news a couple years ago. You're a disgraced nephew who couldn't get into culinary school and therefore was written out of his will. You don't know that. It won't matter anyway when I'm done with you meddling kids in your main GMC. I am hurt? This is a face of pain? Call an ambulance, but not for me. The police will be here to pick up this scumbag and admit Whoa, Sean, that was amazing. I didn't even see that coming. Aha, I know. That was the point all along. Wait, you knew? Then how did you call the police? I called them with Katie's phone right after she got taken. I prank called the station uh, one too many times and uh, now they won't pick up my calls. Uh, oh, and as for not Kyle, well, it was actually quite simple to decipher. See, I noticed that when he got taken, he was the only one that didn't make a sound when he disappeared. And his knife was gone, so, I mean, he planned the perfect crime, am I right? You can't be surprised by something you know is coming. And the final dead giveaway, well, that was actually quite simple. When not Kyle greeted me at the door, he gave me a polite handshake. Kyle always gives me a fist bump and does the reverse explosion thing. Also, a polite handshake is very British. Yeah, he complimented me on my iced tea back on the set of Bake Off. Uh, no English person can resist tea. Uh, I can't believe I didn't see it earlier. Exactly. At the end of the day, it was quite simply elementary. Say, how's that candy bacon doing? Well, burnt to a f***ing crisp. How is about some Chinese takeout, everybody? With the mystery solved, lives saved, and a clear plan for supper, Sean's great Christmas party was unlike any other. So the gang got together and assembled for the night, for they watched Hallmark Christmas movies to the horror of their sight. <laughs> this blows! And there marks the end of this great Christmas tale. And hey, did you know that this book is for sale? How about a tip for your narrator and also the person that saved your life? You've made us watch a bad movie, so I'm gonna say no, bro. Fair enough. Well, would you look at the time. Uh, it's time for you to get to bed, little one, if you want to visit from the big man tonight. <gasps> Thanos? What? Kinda. No, I meant the nice big man. You know, on Christmas. You know, big man. Nice long beard. Big beard. That guy from... Duck Dynasty? Yes, that guy from Duck Dynasty. No, I, I meant Santa. Jeez, kids these days. That makes more sense. My next guest was Daniel Lido. You can leave my house now. Okay, I'll have just one more snacky. Oh no you don't, come back here. And that's for calling me Little Miss Kitchen Corner. Da 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 da. Did you? I love how you flash the 
Go, 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 go.